Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Em and this little sweetheart is Miss Keeper. And today we are gonna teach her a new skill. So she already has some basics of sit, lay down, and stand up on command. And today we are going to teach her one of the, probably one of the top three most important things that I will teach this puppy. And that is to stay. So if you can only teach your dog three things, I, I mean, if you can teach them these, you can teach them other things, but if you can only teach them three things, stay, come, and leave it are the top three commands I would teach your dog um, for their own safety. Say you drop a glass and it shatters on the floor. If you tell the dog leave it, that's wonderful if they, you know, you don't want them running over to see it, but then say there's glass all around. You need your dog to stay where they're at so they aren't stepping on the glass. So that's where you come in with the stay command. Say somebody opens the door, you weren't expecting them to, and the dog is right there. Stay will keep your dog from running out the door. Say that you're outside, your dog's off leash, they run across the road, there's not much traffic on that road, but it happened, you happen to have a car coming down the road and recall would make your dog run right in front of the car, teaching your dog how to stay, wait for the car and then do the recall can save their life. So this is a super, super valuable skill that I really, really recommend teaching. So today we are going to get Miss Keeper started on it. So she's already got her foundation work, her sit, her lay down and her stand on command. She knows how to do those things. So what I'm gonna do is use those and use the word stay to keep her in that position to teach her, kind of explain to her what I'm actually looking for. So we are first thing in the morning. She went out, she went potty, she had a little play session with the big dogs. And now we are going to do her training lesson with her breakfast. And as you can see, I've got dogs on beds behind me on the couch. So they're all in a put and stay. I put them up there so they'd be out of the way so we wouldn't have quite as many distractions. We are in the living room. Usually we start in the kitchen, um, but they're kind of one room. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, start this in the living room. Now I would recommend if you can't, if you don't have a lot of control or you can't get to your puppy quickly, to go ahead and put a leash on them because that gives you a little more control from a distance. I'm gonna try this without a leash and see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, then I'll put a leash on her. <laughs> but we are gonna go ahead before she falls asleep on me, we are gonna get started on this. So let me grab some food. You want some food? Are you hungry? All right, let's get some food. All right, so we're gonna warm her up with some commands. We've got sit, sit, good. You need a little hand cue there. So when you're first teaching this, you're going to want to just build from really close. So for example, when you teach down, you're probably using your hand as a lure, getting the dog down, and as soon as those elbows hit the ground, you let your hand open so they can have the treat. What I did with her already is down good is instead of giving her that treat right away i would pull my hand away and then bring it back if she stayed in that position i'd bring it right back and give her that treat down good just like that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to build off that so we're just going to put her down wait good and we're just going to build on her staying now if she had stayed laying down right there I would have rewarded that again. So I'm not necessarily giving her the word right away. I'm just trying to build on the action. So keep her down. Wait. Very good. And I am telling her wait. She knows how to wait. I have used that with her and this is exactly how I taught her that. Wait. Very nice. And you can see her tail going. She's having a good time. Sit. 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 Good. We practiced a lot on getting her to stand without sitting, so she's a little hesitant to sit, just because usually I'm like, no, 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 stand back up. Wait, very nice. So you're just going to start with very short times. Um, you're not going to ask a lot from your little puppy. Down, wait, good, wait, good. And I'm saying wait, you can use wait or stay. I use both with my dogs. They're smart enough to keep up with me on that. They, they definitely um, have figured out that I'm not the simplest of, they're very good. 
the simplest in giving commands. So there you saw she was staying in position. I pulled my hand away, I was talking to you, and she still stayed there. She thought about getting up, but then she was like, nope, th that's not how I get it. And she stayed there. So that was beautiful. Our next step that we're going to do to build on this is I'm going to stand up and I'm going to add some of my own body movement. Sit. Good. Stay. Good. Stay. Good. Sit. 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 Good. Stay. Good. Now I'm using a hand cue, my hand out like this to let her know I want her to stay there. Um, eventually we will build onto this where you don't need as much of a hand cue. Let me grab some more food real quick. All right, and you'll probably hear some crazy noise in the background. My cat is outside asking to come in and he kind of paws at the door when he asks to come in. So we're gonna wait to let him in until we're done training though, because he can get really involved in the food. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to build on that stay with me moving around. This is another great thing to teach your puppy. Sit. Wait. Good. So me bending down, typically she would come towards me. So the fact that she can stay there while I bend down is really, really good. Now, if your puppy gets up and moves right away, you just put them back in that position and go again, but don't ask so much from them. So say she had gotten up and moved when I just stood up. We would practice just standing up. Me just standing up and her staying in position. Did you drop it? Wait. Good. There you can see I moved to the side. So practicing even just picking up a foot, sometimes that's all the puppy can handle. So we're gonna try with down, stay. Good. And again, each position, you're going to want to kind of start from scratch again and build it. So we've been practicing this with trophy. Wait. Very nice. That was very good. Wait. Very good. And you can see she moved her foot there. That's not exactly what I want, but for a little puppy, it's easier to stay in position when you're already sitting or laying down than it is for standing. That's really hard for them to do. All right. Down, wait. Down, wait. Very good. And you'll notice she started to get up, but I made my hand go low enough that she would lay back down. I never would reward, if you're headed back to the dog and the dog breaks position, I wouldn't reward that. I would go, ah, 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 put him back in position and redo the practice. She was far enough down that just my hand going down was enough to bring her back down. So try that again, wait. Down, wait. I ask too much of her, wait, down, wait. Now you can see she kept failing and failing. I was asking too much of her. So every time I came back, she would try to stand up. I don't want her to do that. I want her to stay there until I release her. So I'm not gonna reward her when she stands up. So we just went back to me being right here. Wait, wait, good. Now one of the things you can do is, if your puppy is breaking every time your hand gets close, when your hand gets close, wait, wait. Pull it away if they go for it, okay. And don't let them have it until you give that okay command. That's a really good way to get them in their head that just because your hand comes in, wait. Good. Doesn't mean that they can get up. So that's what we obviously need to work on with her when she's laying down, wait. Wait, good. Good girl. And you can see, she's a very smart puppy. She picks it up very quickly. Trophy. You can see she's getting full. 
we've had enough training lesson, we've been doing this probably twice as long as what I would recommend, um, keep your training lessons super short. So we're gonna end this by asking her to do something I know she's really good at, I know she knows how to do, and we're gonna kind of upbeat it, and then we're gonna end it there. Come on, sit, sit. Very good, very good. Yes, good girl. Trophy, trophy, wait. Good girl, good girl. Yes, very good puppy. All right, so at the end of our training lesson, what I like to do is put the puppy in place or put them in their crate so that they can, ooh, don't, don't go lick the phone. <laughs> I know that's what you wanna do. Um, so that they can kind of let their brain settle and let what we just taught sink in. If you do your training lesson and then your puppy gets up and runs around, they won't retain it as well as if you put them up and let them settle in. Ideally, they would fall asleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands washed. She did amazing. I'm super proud of her for her first stay, first lesson with stay. And we will continue to build on this. I've shown you guys several different things now, several different pieces that we've been working on. So we are going to be doing a little more. We're going to be doing some training where we're putting all those little pieces together and going out in the real world. So stay tuned guys. Again, let me know if there's any specific training you want to learn. That cat really wants in. <laughs> so I'm going to go let him in. But let me know if there's anything you guys want to learn. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video. Have a golden day.